Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to teach you some fun facts about WebRTC and a brand new day. Well, um, actually forget about the dance. Um, what is WebRTC? It stands for Web Real-Time Communication. It allows direct communication between browsers. They can exchange whatever they want. An API on the top of it allows you to use a camera and microphone to do video communication, or you can even do just simple file sharing. Okay, it, it sounds cool, but how does it work? There's many ways to make it happen. Here is the most classic way to do it. So first, the browser A needs to know how to be reached from anywhere on the internet. Otherwise, it would be difficult to start the conversation. It's like trying to reach a friend without his phone number. For this, it will contact a stunned server, which will return an ICE candidate. Wait, what? Okay, stun stands for Session Traversal Utilities for Net. It's a standardized set of methods and a network protocol. To make it simple, it got only one job, deliver ICE candidates, which is a list of information like IP address and port, to connect with your machine. This was created a long time before WebRTC. Once a browser A got this information, it will use them to generate an offer. This will also contain information about compatible codecs accepted if you plan to use audio and video. This offer must be sent to the browser B. At this point, the browser B will also contact a stand server to get its ICE candidate. Then it will generate a response to the browser A. Once the browser A got this response, it will establish the connection. But uh, wait a minute. How will the browser A and B can exchange an offer and response before establishing the communication? Well, there is no standardized protocol to exchange offer and response. This step is called signaling. The most common way is to use a dedicated server which will know who needs to reach who. But you're free to use whatever you want. Warning! The stunts in this movie were performed by professionals, so for your safety and the protection of those around you, do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. You can do it by a phone call or SMS, the post letter? Actually, I would be very curious to try that. Or even Twitter could work. But keep the offer and response safely. They contain sensible data. About compatibility, for now, Chrome, Firefox and Opera are the best challenges. The implementation of WebRTC is probably the best. Microsoft Edge implemented another protocol which is called ORTC, which is not fully compatible with WebRTC, but it's on its way. Unfortunately, Safari has only implemented the API to get media access, like microphone and camera, but the support for peer connection should be available soon. Then most of mobile devices will be WebRTC ready. Then, if you are wondering about Internet Explorer, well, have a guess! Internet is full of resources to start. Documentation, tutorials, projects, Feel free to discover and have fun. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching.